How do you brew your coffee? Pour over a French press in an espresso machine? I've learned a lot about coffee today, by the way. I had no idea there was so many options. Yes, there are a lot of <laughs> options. And depending on uh, how you brew it, mm -hmm. uh, it could actually affect your cholesterol. That's according to a new study. CBS 17's Liz Ortiz is here now with what we need to know. And I was reading this story with great anticipation because I drink a lot of coffee. A lot of coffee. Me too, guys. And most of us drink a cup of coffee to get our day going, maybe even several of these cups. But new research raises the question, is there a healthier way to make your coffee. Your gender and how you brew your coffee may play a role in how it impacts your cholesterol. Dr. Michelle Kelsey is a cardiology fellow with Duke Health. We've been trying to understand this relationship between coffee and cholesterol and cardiovascular disease risk for a long time. A new study published in the journal Open Heart finds three to five cups of espresso a day was linked to high cholesterol, especially among men. And when it comes to filtered coffee, women who drank six or more cups a day were shown to have higher cholesterol levels, but not men. What is it about coffee in particular and the way that it's brewed, do you think, is raising cholesterol levels? Yeah, so coffee contains these compounds called diterpenes, which are basically oil lipid compounds. Um, and we think that that is what is causing increased cholesterol from coffee. Though it's important to note, different types of coffee can have a different amount of these oils. Boiled coffee, plunger coffee, like French press coffee, have the highest amounts, and filtered coffee or instant coffee have some of the lowest amounts, and that's because the oils are removed in the filtration process or even in the processing to make instant coffee. And we think espresso and espresso-based drinks are somewhere in the middle. So how many cups of coffee a day are safe, and is there a healthier brewing method? Dr. Kelsey says more research needs to be done to figure out the overall health impacts of coffee. But for now, she says, think about the things you're putting in your coffee. Watch the intake of sugary creamers or non-dairy creamers that are high in fat. I might try to tackle those things first before I would before I would cut out my coffee entirely. And that's the good news. You don't have to cut out your coffee, guys. I know we all rely on it, but that amount of creamer you put in there, that's the thing you gotta watch. See, I just do black coffee. I don't put anything oh, really? in it. Yeah. And I'm nothing. just and I'm just gonna ignore the last part of what you said about the creamers all together. <laughs> my, my mom jokes with me all the time. She's like, Do you want coffee with your creamer? Because that's pretty much all I put in there. So yeah. I have noticed your coffee. <laughs> yes. I thought that was like milk or something. I'm just kidding, Liz. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thanks, much. Liz. Tonight we know a lot more about